Hello, my name is Dr. George Lee. Um, I have a PhD in chemistry. I think I might have a unique um, perspective to offer towards um, deciphering the Voynich manuscript. I'm basing my a lot of this work off the uh, YouTube the, um, um, presentation, How to Solve the Voynich Manuscript, Part 2, found at this uh, web link right here. First off, if, if we take uh, the pronunciations that are offered from the YouTube video and we uh, look at the, uh, uh, they, they, they suggest that it's a gypsy language or a gypsy Indo language. Um, I think that the Voynich manuscript is probably an agglomeration of, of numerous, uh, an, a numerous, numerous languages. But if we take a look and see uh, how Romani, the, the language of the gypsies, pronounces a few things, we might find some similarities in the Voynich Manuscript. So uh, I used this website right here to take a look and see where uh, what some of these words might be. I was very interested in finding ones, uh, since the Voynich uh, deals a lot with astrology and also um, in uh, alchemy, I, I kind of uh, thought I'd look for some words that might be associated with that. The ones that uh, I looked at for the most was uh, stars, which I believe is cheer and uh, if we go through and use the YouTube videos um, linguistic like translations of the words we, we find that we might have this kind of pronunciation or this kind of spelling for what we would expect stars to be cam for sun cam uh, oh, my handwriting is pretty poor but uh, I would expect if I were to translate it I would see this somewhere for sun and um, so, as a, as a chemist, especially the chemists in the 1400s, they would have used perhaps the word aqueous for water. Uh, aqueous, chemists to this day still use the word aqueous for water. And if I were to spell it out using uh, the um, Voynichese, I would expect it to look something like this. Ah. Uh, um, there is no, if we go back here, yeah, there is no uh, pronunciation for qu or ki or qu as in aqueous. So they might would use the G or a K, depending on how it was done. So, And also remember that this uh, the Voyage Manuscript was also found in Italy. Agua for water. Aqui, aqua. Aqui. Uh, the O. The, the the symbol that looks like an O in the Voyage Manuscripts can be pronounced as an A, A, or an E, E. And then S. This is S. Um, furthermore, there there is a there is a star, or is, uh, is it Aquarius. Uh, it's right above uh, Pisces, and it's usually thought of as the brightest star out there. And if you were to try to identify where Pisces are, which isn't a very bright constellation, you would probably want to use Aquarius to find it. If we were to translate Aquarius out the, to the best of my ability, I, I can't exactly do it right. So these are just my offerings. I am no means a linguist. I'm just uh, dabbling around in what my observations are. If it was Aquarius, we would expect the same kind of, of, of spelling. We would expect aqua or agua aqua I'm not sure how air would be in this but we would expect es or es or something like along those lines so how do we do well, um, well let's take a look if we look for stars uh, now this is a very hard one to see but on the the voyage manuscript the ones that's uh, offered as 68 V I'm looking at these words right here, and these clearly relate to stars, and stars, and stars. As a matter of fact, there's one here, and there's one here. And take a look at this, stars, as in cheer, if, if we were to spell it the way that we uh, would have from the YouTube video, it would be cha, e, e, and then somehow we would do er or x. If we look at the Voyage manuscript, the, these words looks like it does appear, except for right here. This might be chur or 
um, you know, like, so the different languages have different kinds of endings, so I'm not exactly sure if they're, you know, like in, in, in Spanish there might be a feminine version or a masculine version, but, but it seems like to kind of correlate a little bit to this, the gypsy language. Uh, how do we do for sun? Well, calm. Now, where, where would I find it? Well, I'm looking right here next to this great big image of something that's clearly the sun. If we take a look at it, this is what I would expect it to be. And I can't quite make it out exactly, but take a look right here. K, K, A, M. I, I'm not sure, but it, it kind of looks like that this is um, uh, the manuscript 67B, if I'm reading everything correctly. Let's, let's take a look at something else. Now, let's look at water. Aqueous. Now, remember, that there, there, there is no pronunciation for k or k. So, we have to kind of be a little bit liberal in our interpretation of this. However, take a look. We have water right here. Or, I'm sorry, something that looks like my prediction for water right here. A qui s a qui s but look right here too a qui s and then something going on right here I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what this is right here no, so this is on page 82v now remember what I said about earlier about Pisces if we wanted to find a Pisces how would we do it well, I suggest the authors are looking for a, a bright, the brightest star right here and they're going to point down to where you would find Pisces at. Take a look. Uh, I would expect it to be Aqu uh, Aquarius. So, ah. Uh, now, this could be K, 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 Que, G, something like that. Agua, 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 Aqua, Aquarius. Uh, who knows? It, it seems to correlate, though. What do you think? Uh, hey, so this is just my uh, short interpretation of, of what I feel that some of these words might mean. Um, I certainly am not a linguist, but I, I kind of look at it through a chemist background. And certainly, as a chemist, especially if this book is, is about alchemy, they would almost certainly uh, use the traditional way that chemists that we speak and have for hundreds and hundreds of years and use the word aqueous for water. Now, there's various things that can come from the word aqueous, aqueducts. Uh, Aquarius actually means, in Latin, to a water carrier or a cup bringer. So we might be able to use this in the Voyage Manuscript to interpret further. All right, well, that's just my, my kind of take on it. Um, I'm not exactly sure if I'm right or wrong, but it's how I think. So um, good talking with you. Um, please leave your comments below to see what you, and tell me what you think. Signing off.